everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's just Clarice and today's video I'm going to be testing out all the products that I got from my Ipsy bags and yes, I said Ipsy bags plural. These are going to be all the products I received in my July and August Ipsy bags and the reason for that is that my July Ipsy bag came in pretty late. I live in Canada so I always get them later than people who live in the States and then my August Ipsy bag surprisingly came in pretty early so I was able to pick that up recently and now I have both of them with me and I haven't tried on any of the products, so I'm gonna do that with you guys today on camera. If you're interested, keep on watching, and without any further ado, let's dive on into today's video. All right, so first let's start off by just showing you guys what the bags look like. This is the July bag that I got, and it's really cute. It has like a tropical vibe to it. It has a really pretty like peachy pink zipper, and the theme of the July bag was dive in. Summer was in full swing at the time. It was all about dewy, fresh looking skin. And then we got the August Ipsy bag, and I think the August bag is my favorite of all all the bags that I've ever received from Ipsy. It's like a really nice pleather. It has this really nice design on it. It just looks really sleek. And I would definitely carry around my makeup in this. You could even use it as a clutch. I feel like it's that cute and simple looking. I just really, really like it. And the theme of the August bag is bear yourself. And some of the first products that I got were skincare products. I received some in both bags in the July bag, I received these hyaluronic acid hydrating face masks by the brand Midflower. And as nice as these masks looked, I did not test these out for today's video because I think I've been over hydrating my skin lately and it caused a couple of breakouts. So instead, I went ahead and tried out the face masks that I received in my August Ipsy bag and I will insert that clip right here. All right guys, so like I said before, I'm gonna be using the face masks that came in my August Ipsy bag. And these are the face masks right here. You have a blueberry face mask. This one is supposed to contain blueberry extract for energized and softer skin. And then you have the peach face mask, which is what I'll be using today. And this one is supposed to create fresh, clear skin. So it's a clarifying mask. I'll be popping this on. I'm supposed to leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll see how my skin looks. Okay, I have the face mask on now. Some initial thoughts. I don't smell like an overwhelming peach scent, but there is definitely a slight scent to these masks. And I do feel it doing something like right away. Also, I forgot to mention, these masks are by the brand Conley Co. And I believe it's like a Korean skincare brand. Yeah, it says it was manufactured in South Korea. So I will be back in 15 to 20 minutes and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so now that the product has dried down, my skin definitely does look very fresh and it feels clean. It's also kind of sticky, like there's like a ripping sound, but it doesn't leave any residue on my hands and it doesn't feel like a film or gross. It's just extremely tacky. I liked it. I don't know. I don't know if it did any huge difference, but I like the way my skin looks. So the next product that we're gonna use from the Ipsy bag also comes from the August Ipsy bag. It's from It Cosmetics, which is actually a brand that I'm very interested in. They're more high-end, not very affordable, but they do make a lot of good products, especially for older aging skin. This is their Confidence in a Gel Lotion. It's oil-free, it's supposed to be good for all skin types, and it is supposed to be hydroplumping, skin transforming, weightless and provide 72 hours of hydration. We'll see how it feels on my skin. I definitely like oil-free, lightweight moisturizers, so this could be right up my alley. Such a teeny tiny tester size. I mean, look at this, so small. It's almost transparent. Ooh, feels really nice, actually. It doesn't feel like a lotion. It definitely feels like a gel. Ooh, that might be too much. Oops, <laughs> I have to take it down my neck anyways. The only thing is this doesn't have SPF in it and my usual moisturizer does. So if I go outside today, I'm gonna have to put SPF on my face. But it feels really nice. It glides on the skin really easily. And it does feel hydrating, but it feels really nice actually, yeah. I quite like this. Alrighty, so now we can get started on using the makeup products that came in the bag. Now I don't have enough to do a full face, so I do have some of my own makeup and I will let you guys know what I'm using when I use it. I've already gone ahead and done my eyebrows using my NYX 
Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso, as well as my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, also in the shade Espresso. We can move on to the eyes now. And I actually received eyeshadow products in both bags. And I was supposed to receive a eyeshadow brush in both bags as well. I do have one of them here. This is from the August bag. But the brush that was supposed to come in my July bag actually broke. It wasn't easily repairable. But the Ipsy team was very helpful. I emailed them right away, let them know what happened. They responded to my email immediately and have shipped out a replacement brush, which should be here very soon. So I am very grateful to the Ipsy team for being so prompt in their response and helping me out to no extra charge. So the brush I received in my August Ipsy bag is from the brand SL Miss Glam, and this is an angled eye brush. They say it's perfect for patting down any kind of eyeshadow product onto your eyes, so I'm going to try to use this brush mainly today. And as for the eyeshadow products that I received, in the August bag I received a pretty big single eyeshadow by the brand Suva Beauty. It is a shimmer shadow in the shade Barbecue, which is like this really deep purpley shade. And then in the July bag, I received an eyeshadow from The Bomb Cosmetics. It's one of their What's the Tea eyeshadows in the shade He Said, She Said, which is this really beautiful, like iridescent purpley eyeshadow with a strong amount of golden glitter throughout it. What I'm thinking is I'm gonna pop this eyeshadow all over my lid and then pop this in the center just to add a little bit of brightness. I didn't get any matte shadows, so I'm gonna be using some mattes from my color pop I think I love you palette I'm just going to use this deep brown matte shade right here as well as this lighter brown as well just to blend out that deep brown and then I'm probably gonna go in with this light shade here rowdy and I'm gonna use that as my inner corner highlight and then I'm gonna use this shade my treat which is like a light peachy shade and I'm gonna use that as my brow bone highlights I just realized after applying those two matte shades that I um, I didn't prep my eyes. So we will really be testing out the longevity of these eyeshadows today. But I haven't not primed my eyelids in so long that I'm actually really interested to see what the difference is between the two. Now it's time to go in with our shimmer shades, starting with this one and using the brush we got in the bag. I'm gonna use the first side just to pop this color all over the lid. And then I'm gonna flip it over and use the reverse side to pop a little bit of this in the center. All right, so that first purple was really intense. I went back in with my matte shades to try and clean it up around the edges. And I also just grabbed some wipes because I'm definitely going to have to wipe up underneath. There is some fallout from that shadow by Suva, but it is really pretty and super pigmented. Now I'm gonna go in with that really bright iridescent shadow in the center of the eyelid and see what that does to the look. That definitely makes a really beautiful eyeshadow topper because it's very glittery and the actual purple shade itself doesn't come through too much. If anything, it's just like a nice light duochrome and I like what that did to the eye look. Now I'm gonna go in with a wipe and quickly clean up underneath and around the edges. Alrighty, so this is the eyes for now. I've applied that brow bone highlight shade as well as the inner corner highlight shade and now we can go in with the rest of the face and then we'll finish up the eye look. So as far as base products go in my Ipsy bags this month, I only got one and it came in my July bag. And I'm actually really, really excited to try this out. This is the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. I mentioned in my current favorites video that I have been loving hydrating primers lately. And this one is supposed to be like a gel primer. It's supposed to brighten your skin and give it this really glowy, dewy look while also hydrating and plumping the skin. And I'm going right in with it. It's not heavy feeling at all. It's very clear in its finish. Just love the dew and the shine that this is giving my skin. 
Mmm, that smells exactly like watermelons. <laughs> so now I'm gonna dive into my face products. I'm not using anything new today, so I will just show it to you while I'm using it. I'll put the name of the product along the bottom of the screen and we'll just zoom through this part. So our base is done, our face is set, and now to sink in those powders, my Smashbox Primer Water Set and Refresh Spray. So before we go in with the rest of the face, let's go ahead and finish off the eye look. I'm just gonna take that dark brown from this palette and I'm just going to smudge it along my bottom lash line. And then I'm going to grab my mascara. Today I'm gonna be using the Monsieur Big by Lancome mascara to give me some really nice dramatic full lashes. So while I was finishing up the under eyes, I also decided to go in with a black liquid liner. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner Plus Serum in Ultra Black. I also tight lined using a dark brown pencil liner along my upper lash line and then a nude liner along my waterline and then buff that out just to give my eyes a wider appearance. And now I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara. Alrighty, so we are almost done. We are nearing the finish line. All that's left is the bronzer, blush, highlight, and lips. And the bronzer and blush today that I will be using are actually from the Ipsy bag. I got a duo in my bag from the brand Pacifica. This is their bronzed rose bronzer and blush duo, 100% vegan and cruelty free. So this is what they look like opened up. And I'm not sure if this is full size. It says that it is a sample on the back. The colors are really pretty. The blush has a sort of iridescence to it in the light that lets me think that it's gonna be kind of a shimmery blush, whereas the bronzer does look completely matte. I'm actually a little bit worried about this shade though. I don't know if it's gonna be a good match for me. On camera, it looks like it should be fine. In person, it looks a little light, but we'll see. And then for highlight today, I'm just gonna be using my e.l.f. Shimmering Highlight Powder in the shade Sunset Glow. This is my favorite highlighter at the moment, so. So there is the bronzer and the blush. Now the blush is a really light rosy shade. So it's not super, super pigmented, but I like the light flush of rosiness that it gives to the cheeks. And then the bronzer actually looked really nice as well. It gave a nice amount of color to the skin. It's not too much. And the thing is, I do think I should be able to use this duo in the winter as well because both colors are soft enough that they can work in the summer and in the winter. So this brings us to the final product in the bag this month, and it is a lipstick. This is by Adesse New York, and it's one of their all-day lip creams in the shade Beverly Boulevard. The lipstick itself looks like a really gorgeous shade. It's sort of like a more berry tone, but it almost looks like a nude. It's very subtle in color, which I love. And I think it's a full-size product as well, which I'm really happy about. According to the box, it says it's luxuriously textured with full coverage and long lasting wear. And again, it is cruelty free, which is awesome. That is a really, really pretty lipstick. It glides on really smooth. It's definitely full coverage. It didn't skip at all. I love this color. There we go. Those were all of my Ipsy products today. So far so good. It's been about an hour and a half since I started doing my makeup and everything is holding strong. But yeah, let me know if you guys subscribe to Ipsy and if you got any of the same products that I did in either your July or summer bags and what products did you get 
that you didn't like and which ones did you absolutely love. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more stuff from me. I post brand new videos every single week. I do makeup videos, I do singing videos, and sometimes I just do some random videos. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye!